my name is Arkita and I welcome you all back to my channel Flights of Fantasy. I'm sure a lot of us have been told to turn off our mobile phones while we bought the aircraft and the aircraft doors are still open and we wonder why. So today's video will answer to this one. Let's get started. Today we are going to talk about refueling of an aircraft on ground. The precautions that we as passengers, flight crew, cabin crew or ground services is required to take in order to carry out refueling safely. Do watch this video till the end. If you have any questions, please write to me. So without much ado, let's begin. Aircraft operator shall appoint a refueling in charge to supervise the refueling procedure and handle the refueling process, including irregular situations. Fire extinguishers and an aviation fuel system emergency shutdown valve are available at readily accessible positions at the aircraft parking stands and on all refueling vehicles. Regular emergency response training would be conducted to ensure the refueling crew is conversant with the contingency procedures. Personnel engaged in refueling process shall not be carrying any lighters or any other means of ignition and shall not wear footwear with exposed iron or steel studs. Ground power units must be positioned at least 6 meters from the aircraft fuel coupling and venting points, hydrant vaults and other refueling equipment too. All hand torches, inspection lamps and the cable connections used within the refueling zone must be safe to use. Mobile phones shall not be used in the vicinity of the refueling truck during the refueling operation. Oxygen systems on board the aircraft shall not be refilled during refueling. The refueling in charge shall maintain constant control of the vicinity around the aircraft during refueling operations to ensure the correct positioning of service equipment and parking of refueling vehicles. Only qualified personnel acquiring adequate training on refueling operation shall be permitted to operate the refueling equipment and to ensure that the fuel flow is cut off quickly in the event of an emergency. The airline or aircraft operator shall ensure that all personnel working inside or in the immediate vicinity of the aircraft are made aware that refueling is taking place. Refueling vehicle engines shall be kept running whilst aircraft refueling is taking place. This is to maintain the operation of the fuel pump system and to ensure that the vehicle can vacate immediately in the event of an emergency. Bonding shall be carried out between aircraft and refueling equipment, between aircraft fitting and hose nozzle, cable clips and plugs for bonding shall be kept in good condition without signs of damage or cracks. Additional precautions to be taken while passengers remain on board during refueling operations. Prior notification to carry out refueling with passengers on board should be made. The captain of the aircraft and the station engineer of the airline concerned must be informed. The areas below the aircraft doors must be cleared to enable the deployment of emergency chutes should this be required. A free and unobstructed passenger escape route must be maintained from the aerobridge, aircraft steps or emergency chutes to a safe area. The onboard illuminated no smoking and exit signs must be switched on. However, 
the seat belt sign must be switched off and the cabin crew needs to ensure that the passengers do not fasten their seat belts while refueling is in progress. The cabin aisles and the emergency exit areas must be kept clear of obstructions. Announcements must be made to advise passengers of the no smoking requirement and restriction on operating electrical equipment or producing sources of ignition. The same number of aero bridges or aircraft steps as normally used for passenger disembarkation must be positioned at all the doors and opened. Cabin staff must be stationed at each door throughout the period of refueling to direct emergency evacuation if need arises. During refueling, if the presence of fuel vapor is detected in the aircraft interior or any other hazard arises, refueling and all cleaning activities using electrical equipment within the aircraft should be stopped immediately until conditions permit resumption. When passengers are embarking or disembarking during refueling, the passenger route should avoid areas where fuel vapors are likely to be present. Passenger movements should be supervised by the airline staff. Communication shall be maintained by aeroplane intercommunication system or other suitable means between the refueling in charge and the cockpit crew. Additionally, cabin staff should be available to assist any invalid wheelchair incapacitated passenger in case of an emergency evacuation. That will be all the precautions that one needs to be carrying out in order to conduct safe refueling. With this, I come to an end of this video. If you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon and be notified every time I post a new video. I will see you guys soon with yet another interesting and informative video. Till then, stay happy and healthy. This is Arpita signing off from Flights of Fantasy.